Hi, I'm Warren Brown. My garden railway has several discrete areas and today I'm going to show you around one of the oldest parts, the long return loop. Today you'll see how the section includes a space for a station building, a single platform and two running lines. When I first laid out the design of the whole railway, behind me here was an old separate patio area. It was a round patio just big enough for two deck chairs, but it was too enclosed and surrounded by overgrown shrubs and tall bushes. So we converted the round shape to be a through path up to the garden studio building. Stick with me to see how this area looks at the beginning of April. The track appears out from behind my garden studio through a short tunnel. Before the building was there, it ran around the back of the garden at the edge of the grass and then formed a large loop around the old patio circle. The short tunnel will have a proper portal feature in due course. The track plan here shows part of the large curve of the line as it was first laid out and used for about 10 years. When first laid out, the section was just a single track with no actual station. It made sense to double the track through the station section to give a fast or freight line to bypass the station. Although I've managed to maintain the station capacity of a two metre train, the location of the points at the end of the platform are not ideal and a stopping train needs to stay back some distance from the end of the platform to keep clear of the points. I had already laid the path at this point before deciding on doubling the track, so the track layout is a bit of a compromise. I am very likely to modify this next winter and put the points further along the line to improve the layout here. After crossing the path for the second time, the track curves around and finally disappears in between the shrubbery, under a flyover track and around the side of the garden. The last views showed snippets from the last year's running and track works. The freight train had a full load of plums from the tree in the garden. I've a lot more to do in this section, particularly the completion of the electronic systems. I'm hoping to spend more time over the Easter period on this, so if you're interested, look back for an update in a few weeks' time to see how the work has progressed. I have added some notes to the description below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.